Hello and welcome to this new and exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a CRM in Asana. So you'll go to asana.com and you notice once you click on prices, it takes you here and you can use the personal starter or advanced. We want to use the personal, which is free. You click on get started and then you can now put in your email here. Then you click on sign up and then you can click on try startup for free down here. So what that will do, it will send a link to your email account. So just go there and verify by just clicking on the link provided. You will then provide simple details about yourself, such as your name, and then of course the password, and then you click on continue. Now, you can choose to continue or to skip these questions. So in this case, I just want to select just one for manager, and then click on continue, then you can skip all these other questions. And then now here, but you can also decide to fill them. So now what is your main objective in Asana? And then your choice here won't limit what you can do with Asana because you can always change this later. So we want to choose the one for project and process management. You click on that and then click on continue. And then you can select the goal and Asana artificial intelligence will help you get things set up. Now you can continue without AI. In the times that we have, AI is making things easier. So if you don't want to continue with AI, you can just click down here, continue without AI. But if you want to continue with AI, you simply click on continue with AI, which is what I want, because AI will make things flow faster even for you. So you create the project timeline. What's something you and your team are currently working on? Maybe I'm working on a video I'm working on a seminar video, so I'm going to type there seminar video and then click on continue. And then you'll answer these simple questions. What are the few tasks that you have to do in the seminar video? So in this one, maybe we have to watch and then we have to color correct. And then maybe the other thing we have to do is basically edit and all that. So you can add the tasks here. And this is just a preview of how it will look. This is a preview of your project. So it will have the watch, color correct, edit. You can add or you can add others here. So click on continue. So how would you group this task into sections? So to watch what is in that. So to do, doing or done. So to do, okay, I want it to remain as it is. To do, doing and done. And then I just click on continue. You notice how it's easily building my project here. Then how do I want my layout to be? List, you notice this is the list. It has to do, I have to watch, do color correction, do the editing, what am I doing? What has been done? If I scroll down, assignee, due date, priority. So you notice it's so easy to generate this using AI. If I want to view the board, layout i simply click on board and you notice the board has this layout to do doing done and then it has all this color correct and the priorities medium at risk high off and all that i can also view that as gantt you notice how the gantt views gives you on this side and then it gives you the graph on the other side you can also choose the calendar so that you can now see your project in asana as it appears on your calendar so that you know maybe which date to beat I want to stick to list here. So I'll click on list and click on continue. And then you can now invite a teammate to try Asana together. If you want to do that, this is where you can add that. I don't want to add any, so I just click on continue. And then you can get Asana for all your screens and you can download Asana for your Android, iOS, or even desktop so that you can work with Asana from anywhere which is a great advantage but for now i don't want to do that so i'll just click on skip for now so you click here on start now but you notice because i've used ai it has made my work so easy but then if i had not used ai i could have done this manually and there's no problem with doing that manually because assuming what the ai did ignoring that if i needed to add a task i would simply come here and click on add task here just like that add task then I give the task name. You notice we had watch, color correct, and edit. So I'll just do this and call it maybe review. You notice that's how I can add the task. 
but by using AI, I already added this in advance. So I can add all these things here, including the sections. For instance, let me add a section by clicking on add section here. I want to add this section to be maybe for payment. So you notice now we have a payment section there. So if I now come to view my seminar video Asana project CRM, I'm able to see this is the title seminar video. I can see to do, I'm supposed to review, watch, color correct and edit. And then what am I doing currently? I can now add the subtasks here. On the assignee, this is where now I can assign different people. If I click on that arrow, you notice I can add a rule to the field, I can sort, I can move to the right or to the left. So for instance, I want to assign this one to view. If I click on that, you notice watch has been assigned to Joe and I can change who this can be assigned to. I can add other members to my dashboard, to my project, and then I can assign them. You notice the status here, maybe it's on track, assuming maybe this one is on, it's not on track. I'll click that and maybe say it's at risk maybe or off track and I can even edit those options. So let me say this is at risk. I just add that and then I can add the comment maybe here, work faster on this. Then I just click on comment so that that comment is added there so that the person I assigned to, they'll come and see that I made a comment here. You notice it's here. And if I click on view comment, you notice the comment is here, work faster on this. So that's how you can change all those things. You can also change the date here by simply clicking on the date there. It opens your calendar and then you select maybe the date you want to start, the date you want to end or from whichever date. So when do you want it to start? I want it to start from 10th. So notice now we have our nice CRM here and this is not fixed. Remember we added these things with AI and we can always change this. So let's add this to be, change this title to be Paris Seminar Video. And you notice here, we can edit the project details. We can review the project permission. So we can set the color and the icon. Maybe we want this icon being a religious thing to be maybe a different icon. We can come here and look for an icon that we feel best represents this. So let's just add that icon. You notice the icon has been changed there. And we can even duplicate this Paris Seminar Video. Maybe we have already set up a very nice template here and we want to create another video. We can simply duplicate this one so that now we have two projects here. So you notice our duplicate of Pari seminar video. Now we want to call this one, maybe it's a different video, but this one is UK seminar video. You'll notice that I'll be able to export all the things I select here. Maybe I want to export the project members or even import them here with the workflow, the calendar and everything. You can select the ones you don't want. Maybe this being a new project, I don't want to import the files. I also don't want to import the messages and all that. So after you have done that, you simply come down here and click on OK there. And you notice here it's starting UK seminar video. So under projects, now you notice here I have the UK seminar video. If I click on that, you notice we have it there. If I click on the party seminar video, it is there. And maybe now I can only change a few things about maybe the UK so that I don't have to repeat everything. The last thing you need to notice is that you can ask AI within Asana. So once, once you have enough details here, you can always ask a question here, maybe how many projects are already complete, but you notice here we have not added so much details, but that's what you can do with Ask AI here. You notice there are not enough information on this project yet to perform an analysis because I've not added much details here. Maybe I can even ask how many projects have been assigned to this email. I can type that question here and then I click on submit. Maybe what steps are at risk? If I had selected everything there, I'll just click on that and then it will gather the information and tell me which ones are at risk. Go through this. You notice it has already analyzed that. Analyzing the task contest, there are two tasks that have their status set at risk. Then we have the color correct, which is at risk. And then we have the watch also, which has been set at risk. So these two tasks are the steps that are at risk in this project. So you notice I don't have to keep on looking for all that detail. I can simply ask Asana 
AI, that is Asana Artificial Intelligence. And that is how you simply build a CRM on Asana. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.